welcome back to our channel so today we are here at northwestern polytechnic and we are about to do a tour i know we have a video on our channel about a tour that Daimar had did um, a few years ago but now it's an updated tour so yes guys just come along with us Yes guys, so in case you guys didn't know already, this is the school that Nats will be coming to, Nat Western Polytechnic. So we're going to just go in, as Nats said, and do an updated tour on what the college is looking like right now. A couple of years ago, this was Grand Prairie Regional College, now renamed Nat Western Polytechnic. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here with Good and Preet, and I'm sorry, Arnit, and they're both international students here at NWP. So I just want to ask you guys, how has it been going? Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. What about you? Awesome. What would you say is the best thing about NWP? The like uh, staffs are too good. All the professors. Do, do they are really, yeah. Are you just saying that for they're the video? Really cooperative, approachable. And mm -hmm. <laughs> and what about you college. how do you find the college so far like first impression right what did you think when you just got here was it easy to transition yeah yeah do you find that um the, the staff is helpful as you yeah, said yeah. yeah what's the what about grand prairie as a city nice nice uh, nice to live like in yeah Peaceful and warm. Did Actually, I let it here in Grand Prairie. You like, I love it here too. Let her go to Edmonton. She'll be back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She'll be back. Oh, you guys are doing business, right? Yeah, business administration. Business administration. That's fantastic. Well, good chatting with you ladies. Guys, look how Grand Prairie look nice when there's no snow on the ground. And trees are coming back. It's coming, it's turning into summer again. Grand Prairie Life Theater. Mamma Mia! Okay, this is the executive office, office of the president, vice president, etc., etc., etc. It's a nice painting. And we're coming up to one of my favorite spots in the entire school. It's not the library. It's this board. 
this is the board that we could have just wrote any random thing on. There's a marker, I just write. Hey guys, so I'm here with Christy. How uh, Christy? Kirsty. Kirsty from the Philippines, guys. She's been here um, in Grand Prairie for probably a year now. Eight, Eight months. months thereabouts. Um, from the beautiful country of the Philippines, of course. Um, international student here at NWP, right? So my first question, Kirsty, is what do you think about the college so far? That's that's amazing. One question is, being here for the past eight months, you have done two semesters. Yeah. Do you regret coming here? No. No? Uh, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I survived winter, so I can say. Oh, I man. <laughs> so for persons who are, like, for example, watching this video back in the Philippines, mm -hmm. and they're thinking of coming to Grand Prairie, NWP, to be exact, what advice would you give them? I think you should look for a school that's in a small town. So that everything will be like, it's just near. You near. don't have to deal with traffic. So don't even think about the bigger cities for now because it's hard to get PR if yeah. you're thinking about being a PR. Yeah. But if you're aiming for like good studies and like work-life balance, you should choose a small town. And I got one more question before I leave you alone is, tell me the best thing about Northwestern Polytechnic. The best thing about the school? Yeah. It's about um, just being here with my friends and my colleagues. The teachers here are very approachable as well. So that's what I like about here. Thank you, Christy. I thought you were going to say the weather. <laughs> no. Look at that this beautiful now. weather. This now. <laughs> yeah, this is beautiful, right? Yeah, this is where I came and did my exam. This is where you're going to do your exam. <laughs> guys, I'm here with Melvin. Um, Melvin is an alumni of NWP. He now works here, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. And he's from the beautiful country of Cameroon, right? So Melvin, tell me a little bit about NWP from your own perspective, right? What was it like being a student here? I would first of all say, in the beginning, I was welcomed very well. And mm -hmm. it was kind of not easy to adapt to, you know, with the weather and mm -hmm. all of that. But yeah, with the help of like the international advisors mm -hmm. and the, my profs, I was able to adapt and integrate easily. And from there, I would say it was pretty smooth journey, I would say. Pretty smooth journey. That's amazing. But something you said about the weather, right? Tell me um, what was the most shocking thing about the weather when you just moved there? I kind of came here in the wrong season. I came in Canada like in January and it was kind of like minus 35 when I came in. Like the first week was really hard for me to go out there. And, yeah. You know, but kind of had to get like winter clothes and yeah. some very thick jacket I wasn't used to wearing. But well, you survived. Out there and, you survived. Yeah. <laughs> so um, somebody watching this video right now from the Cameroon, because we do have a lot of viewers in the Cameroon, by the way, big up himself. Anyways, what would you say to them? If they're thinking of coming to Grand Prairie or not Western Polytechnic, what advice would you have to give to those students? Uh, the first advice, I'm going to say try to come like in the fall. <laughs> it's going to be easier for you to adapt. Yeah. And then I'm also going to say um, maybe when coming, try to like, you know, do a little bit of research regarding the area and, mm -hmm. you know, trying to get in touch with like the international advisors. And they are really nice people. They are going to guide you a lot on mm -hmm. what exactly you need to do to be successful why being at the college and also why living your day-to-day -day life, right? Okay, I'm going to ask you one last question, right? And it's going to be a challenging question. I'm going to warn you, right? Okay. And this question is, so we have spoken to quite a few persons before yeah. and everyone says pretty much the same thing, but there's no perfect place, right? We can agree with that. What would you say is the most challenging thing about Grand Prairie as a city and the most challenge you have faced being a student at NWP? <laughs> That's a really challenging one. Um, other than the weather, which I'll talk about again, <laughs> I'm going to kind of say, um, in the beginning for me, one thing that was really challenging was like, you know, trying to understand my instructors because like, you know, the way the, like, how can I put it? It felt a little bit like they were speaking faster or something. Oh, you, you Cameron speak French, right? Yeah, we speak French. Marco Bosseva? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do speak French okay. and English, but so understanding the accent was a little bit of an issue for me, but mm -hmm. I kind of approach my instructors and let them know, hey, sometimes like when I ask, I try to react, it's not because I'm mm -hmm. kind of being rude, but it's just like I have hard times getting you and the instructors mm -hmm. kind of also try to like accommodate, being accommodating by like trying to speak a little bit slower or trying mm -hmm. to make sure I'm like on point with what you're saying, right? But yeah, I'm going to say that was one of the challenges I really had was understanding my instructors in the first one or two months. Gotcha. Yeah. Yes or no question? Should somebody come to NWP? Yes. Thank you, man. <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> Sarah Westfall, um, international student, um, liaison officer. So that's uh, your title? Yep, international student liaison. Fantastic. So Sarah is the person who you guys have been asking for, asking yeah. about. Here she is live in red colors. <laughs> <laughs> So um, I'm just going to be asking you a couple of questions here, Sarah. And these are questions that people typically want to know, right? I promise I'm not going to ask you too much of a difficult question. But first, tell me a little bit about NWP. Okay. Um, there's a lot of exciting things happening at NWP right now. We're located in Grand Prairie, Alberta. Um, we've launched a couple of degree programs for this fall. Uh, we launched another intake for the nursing program and um, next year we're launching a paramedic program so uh, we have a lot of things going on also uh, three postgraduate certificate programs um, it's a great environment we have a lot of international students they're amazing um, from all different countries all different ages backgrounds um, it's a really fun place to be that's fantastic now one of the biggest challenge that a lot of persons always um, have are question that persons always want to know is about transition, right? So of course, the city that you go to plays a big factor in your holistic um, college, I'd say duration, our journey. Tell me about Grand Prairie as a city as it relates to international students. Would you say it's a great city for international students to move to? I would say so. Like, I think everyone adapts to the Canadian winters. <laughs> I think it's a little <laughs> bit of a shock at first, but you adapt. I think the city in general um, is very diverse and welcoming to newcomers. And um, we actually have the city of Grand Prairie come into our orientation sessions 
and they have gift bags for newcomers. So they offer a three month free bus pass okay. and uh, free passes to the East Link Center and some other um, gifts for anyone that's a newcomer. So they're well supported by the city. There are lots of jobs here. Um, oh, I, I'm gonna <laughs> stop you right there and I'm gonna say repeat that. Yeah, <laughs> there are lots of jobs here. I think I can't walk into a restaurant or a store without a help wanted sign mm -hmm. on the door. So. Um, we had a career fair here a couple of months ago with over 60 employers. So I think it's a great opportunity to get your mm -hmm. education, to work, and then we have a faster pathway to PR. So if that Fantastic. Anyway. Now, <laughs> I am gonna be chatting to Sarah a little bit more, guys, um, in an official capacity, um, both her and Wendy. Big shout out to Wendy, by the way, anywhere you are in the world right now watching <laughs> this video, you shout out to you. We'll be doing an actual um, interview with both ladies, so I'm not gonna go too in depth right now, um, so I'm just going to ask you two more questions, and one of those questions is, why should somebody f come to NWP, especially as an international student? In your own words, why should they come here? Okay, so I think the fees are really reasonable. Um, life in Alberta is uh, more reasonably priced than other areas of Canada. Um, for example, the uh, provincial sales tax here is only 5% compared to Ontario being 13 and British Columbia being 12 so uh, the cost of living is quite a bit lower. Um, there are lots of jobs here. Um, you get a really good quality education. We have multiple intakes, multiple programs, and um, it's just a really good and friendly, smaller community, so. Okay, and the last question is, how can anyone reach you? Reach me? Yeah. <laughs> Through you, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you can reach us um, at the international inbox. So it's uh, by email international at nwpolytech.ca. Fantastic. Thank you, Sarah. And everything Sarah just said, being an international student myself, I came to Grand Prairie. Uh, at the time, I didn't have anyone like me to kind of show me the space before. Uh, pretty much had to learn through experience. Typically, um, when I came here, it was a very great college for me at the time. It allowed me to, I'd say, grow and learn a lot, um, especially as it relates to jobs. Um, the college itself, the, the, the instructors are very approachable, they're very friendly, and you don't feel like you're thrust out into the ocean kind of thing. Um, there's tons of support, especially if you're here with your family and you're going through a difficult time, like for example, you can't work, you don't have any money kind of stuff. You have the Room of Plenty program that you can definitely go and get groceries and stuff like that. Uh, you can definitely go and get groceries. Um, we have um, stuff that's always been donated um, through the college that you can definitely get support. And this is all um, anonymous, so you don't have to feel intimidated that you are gonna be um, stigmatized against. So those are just some of the many programs. And plus you get to interact with many, many different cultures. Um, I've met persons from 57 different countries when I was coming to the college, like I literally sat and counted it. I'm like, whoa, 57 different countries. That's amazing, right? So um, I'm not sure if there's many other places in Canada that gives you that opportunity. So definitely consider NWP as your option if it is that you are thinking of migrating to Canada as an international student. You're a little bit confused about where you want to go, but you want to find somewhere that allows you to grow, transition easily, and definitely become a permanent resident. I've lived it. You can live it too.